this out today. It's warmed up to minus 20, minus 25 last night. rubber 2009 Subaru Legacy gonna be crushed my dreams were crushed when I got under it and noticed Earth. Oh, right there. That's never a good thing to see when somebody has cut the cat open and gutted it. He already paid for it. Hauled it out of the snowbank. Got the front one. A little kidney. Not sure how much that's gonna bring, but can be very much profit on this one. But I think that my profit is gonna be keeping and trying to sell these uh, brand new Arctic Max studded snow tires. What size are these things? 205.50.17s on aluminum wheels. Some good money in uh, wheels and tires there, so probably uh, gonna have to sell those to try to make something off this thing after losing that rear cap. You know, uh, about a month ago or so, I scrapped that, um, what was that, Dodge Caliber 2011 that I uh, blew a rod right out of the block, but um, someone commented and mentioned, you know, you're scrapping 2011 cars that were, I mean, these things were brand new when you started making videos. And, uh, yeah, actually, I looked back and, uh, my first video ever on YouTube was, uh, of my 1980 Ford Econoline van with a 300 straight six carbureted four speed. And, uh, I did a cold start on it. That was my first YouTube video, and that was 2009. So this car right here, now in 2022, I'm taken to be crushed. Worthless scrap metal. And this car was brand new probably 30 40 grand when I made my first YouTube video so kind of interesting how's everyone doing on this cold Thursday we, uh, down here we warmed up to 9 degrees actually, but that's in the sun. Gotta fill up. Ooh. 
hot. Nice and hot. Ooh. Felt it go down all the way. What do we got today? I wanted an everything bagel, but they were all out. They only had cinnamon raisin and plain and stuff. I don't know why they run out. Why do you run out of stuff? I mean, kind of weird, but went with the croissant. Look at that cheese. Sausage, egg, and cheese. Oh. Life is good. Don't have much time to uh, dilly-dally around. Uh, I got a call yesterday. Pick up this Subaru from a guy. Um, he does the plowing. for an apartment building next town over and uh, this car was sitting there in the way it really screwed up his plowing so we um, went inside the apartment building found out whose car it was said to the guy you know yeah I moved his car So, the guy said, well, it doesn't run. Head gasket went or something. and It's a real piece of crap. So, the guy said, you know what? He said, you want it? You can have it. And the guy's like, what am I going to do with it? Luckily, a friend of his was uh, had called me about a car so he said uh, he was talking to him and he said I know a guy broken dreams removal call this number so he got a hold of me and said I gotta get this car out of there ASAP you buy junk cars and I said yep and buy it and he said yeah it's Cats are on there. It's got a title. Well, at first he didn't know what year it was. And I said, well, if it's newer than a... If it's an 03 and newer, I need the title. So... Next morning, he sent me a message. said, I went over there. I got the titles for that car. And uh, good thing, because it's 2009. He said, I got the key and title here, and uh, we're supposed to get, like, a foot of snow or something a Saturday. So, he said, you know, you think you can get this car out of there before then? I said, yeah. I said, I'll drop what I'm doing, head right over. So, he was pretty thankful. I was able to come so fast and I pay a good price so got it out of there and freezing cold out Rolled it into my garage, and Subarus are uh, worth uh, taking the cats off and selling them separate. Some of them are really good. Got under there, realized that rear one, somebody, I noticed that a lot up here, the people, they, these shops, they, 
they cut them open and, and got them out and then weld it back up. I don't know. I mean, I guess they think that it's clogged, but, you know, on these newer cars like that, it's pretty rare that, from what I remember, that they really clog up. I mean, but... I guess it's probably more of like a diagnosing thing. They think that it might be clogged, so they go ahead and gut it out. They just threw away a lot of money. Throw it right in the trash barrel. All that nice precious metal that's inside. But, I don't know, I've seen it quite a bit. I gotta keep an eye open for that stuff, and I think I learned my lesson, but... Either way, I probably would have paid the same price. That front one, they call it a kidney. It's got two O2 sensors in it. And um, from what I remember, I think that might be a good thing. It was like a one sensor, a no sensor. Two might be, might actually make it worth more, but. Ah, uh, like I said, this thing's got some nice snow tires on it. Three, four hundred dollars set of tires there on the street. So, definitely going to pull those off. And then, I had planned on um, making a few other stops here stores and stuff I needed some supplies but I'm not gonna be able to because um, I had another guy called me up my way with this this morning and says um, he's got a 2000 Dodge Ram bad transmission wondering how much I'd pay it's a little bit out of my area, but it's actually back on the way back up from where I'm going now. And um, it's sort of an emergency. He ran out of heat and oil. And I guess he's got a young granddaughter and stuff living there and got no heat. So... So whatever I can get for it, I got to put some, some oil in the tank fast. Don't get too excited about a Dodge. Not very good as far as cat-wise goes, but still, I think it's a four-wheel drive pickup. Got some weight to it. So, I told him, I said, I got to get rid of this one and uh, I'll head back that way ASAP and do my best and very thankful for it so I'll try to help out it is pretty cold out so I figured get something a little more to eat right now because not going to be able to uh, do my normal celebration go to Wendy's or something Quick note on my Harbor Freight winch, I returned the defective one, got a new one. Same model winch and everything. I noticed different things in the box, something. It was different hardware and the brackets and certain things on there were a little bit different from that other one. Seems like some stuff might have been missing out of the other one. I'm not sure, but it sure looked like it was factory packaged. But I'm starting to wonder if that other one was was a return and they tried to resell it. And I got and I happened to get it, the defective one. But I get the new one on, and the control box usually mounts right on top over the cable, 
and uh, I put it all on and now you can't plug the remote in because the spring for the tensioner is right in the way so it didn't allow you to plug that in there was no room so I had to relocate the uh, control box like you seen down underneath which I kind of like better but I just um, made a couple little brackets and welded it on uh, so that was kind of weird but uh, I made it work and I put it all together my new Walmart battery and everything and uh, I go to pick up a car my first one not you know didn't start I'm gonna winch it on gonna try this new winch out I got nothing no power no nothing well I ended up jumping off of a I had a friend of mine come over with his truck and actually he's got a plow so I had to move some snow out of the way in front of the car and that, so that helped me out and I said hey I'm gonna have to run these cables off your truck so he pulled it over and we uh, we hooked it up gave it a little boost and uh, barely was able to get enough juice to pull the car up I couldn't believe that two batteries one brand new could freeze up to where there was absolutely no juice whatsoever I mean not even anything well come to find out the the old style uh, disconnect that I put on for the battery um, it's like that old brass and copper one with the chunk you know you turn it on and off uh, I put that on because of the other problems I had and where the winch kept going by itself I figured I could at least shut it off well that thing decided to shit the bed and it didn't let any current through the switch and that's why I wasn't getting anything from the batteries that were on there was because of that so by bypassing that with the cables I got a little bit of juice, but all I had to do was unhook that switch and I could have pulled the car on, no problem, but I didn't know, so I uh, obviously had to get rid of that switch and uh, prob I just hooked it up, you know, so it's on right now. It's just hooked up. There's no on-off switch, but, um, you know, I guess when you put it on a vehicle on the front bumper of a Jeep or something... Uh, it's hooked up to the battery of the Jeep, so um, it would always be live, just like on this. So I don't really see a problem, but um, I'll probably get another sort of fancy, some type of switch, I think, in the future and put it on just in case I wouldn't mind being able to shut it off. But Haven't really used it too much since. Uh, it seems to work good though, so. We'll give it, uh, it's gonna get a workout pulling that Dodge up, so we'll see. frozen chunk of poopy.
guess I don't get the toolbox or the spare. Dodge Ram. Junk. Look at the rubber. Flowmaster. Said we went to Walmart. Transmission went. Said it was a pump. Let's see took the battery out I said when I say complete vehicle it means everything that goes with it battery included I don't care if it's dead it goes with it 1500 V8 that there's got a 360 in it custom pink duct tape we got winch batteries hooked up and uh, we're gonna try my little free blue fuel Napa jump pack what do we got oh blinking green yeah. oh we're on 100% percent see what happens Lovely smell of mice and <laughs> what dash? Four by four. Oil pressure? Brake? None. Hundred and six thousand. happening over here at the pipe. Woo! See if she's got any tranny action. Nope. 
Nope. Nobody home. Nice whacking stick. I cleaned all the trash out for you, they said. Not that I really care. Woo! Nothing. Cleaned her. Woo! Look at that cup holders. Ha <laughs> ha! It's that. Just comes out. Just the flow master. So that's good news for us. Just like I thought. I made out pretty good on that. Just for that front one. Um, he said it's too bad that rear one was empty because I lost some good money there. But I made a pretty decent profit. And uh, I have those brandy new snow tires. 17s on Subaru wheels so I'm gonna clean those up put those for sale and um, so the people they uh, they kept texting me they said we really need to we really wonder what you know how fast you can get here so I postponed uh, a lot of things that uh, other things I was supposed to do and uh, pickups and stuff and um, I dropped that car and I headed right over there to their place. Uh, the guy met me in the driveway. He shoveled it out. He did a pretty good job. I was very surprised. Um, of course, he, uh, you know, same old story. I mean, it's uh, broken dreams removal. I mean, I'm used to it, you know. And it's a shame, but, you know, when there comes a time where you need money for your family, you know, and uh, in this case, they had no heat. 
they needed to uh, take care of that and uh, well you know you got a Dodge truck there sitting there I mean obviously they've had the truck for a while they've had good times in it they've driven around in it and uh, they went to Walmart one day for a nice little day and uh, the transmission went bad pump and Dodge you know it's a pretty common thing and those things so um, he said you know I hate to get rid of it of course he tried to get more money out of me I said you know we already agreed on a price over the phone and whoever I was texting your wife or whoever it was I said but you know that's what I can pay and, and I'm sorry but that's all I can do so um, but he was pretty happy with it and uh, of course you know I say I buy a complete vehicle it's got the battery, it's got four wheels, it's got converters on it. You know, that's a complete vehicle, how it is, not missing stuff. Right away, he said, there's no battery. I said, well, you know, a complete vehicle is a bat, you know, the battery should be in there. I mean, it may not seem much, but that's how I, that's how I make my money and I figure out everything and all my profit. So, he said, well, I got the battery, but it's dead. And I said, it doesn't matter. I said, it just the battery needs to go with it. That's The truck has a battery. It should be in there. So he went and got that. So no problem. Threw it inside. So uh, that worked out. And, uh, of course, it's got the one big cat under there. Uh, Dodge haven't really been known to be very good, but uh, it should still be worth cutting off and... Uh, the truck's going to be heavy. Again, we have another set of like new tires. The rear two are Fusions, the front two are Firestones, but they're like new, the tread. And a very good size, 265, 75, 16. So those are some keepers or some sellers, whatever. Definitely coming off of there. And uh, you're left with a heavy, worthless Dodge Ram. Um, 360 she's out there rumbling charging my, my uh, winch batteries but it's a shame when you know people got to give up a vehicle but when you need money you got to do what you got to do and uh, I would do the same with my vehicles if I absolutely if it was between that and my family I would sell whatever I could and I have in the past um, so <clears throat> so we got that it's the end of the day freezing cold um, that's it I've had enough I'm about to go in warm up I'm uh, froze to the bone wasn't too bad pulling that thing up the new winch works great the wireless part doesn't work. I gotta bring that back. Return that wireless remote. That's defective too. But um, winch has plenty of power. I mean, it pulled that Dodge. It's frozen in there, and the ground's been sitting there, you know, a long time. Uh, pulled it right up, no problem. Way better than my other one ever did. So uh, pretty happy with that. Didn't go too bad, you know. Um, he was cold. He went inside. Didn't help steer, but sometimes that's better. You know, I could just do a better job and take my time and do it myself. But uh, so I'll head inside. Maybe crack a beer, warm up. Um, hopefully, uh, get something warm to eat here. That'll do another day. Broken Dreams removal. And uh, make a few bucks and survive another day.